pacing, very, um, how do you say, oh, John Bernthal's in it for more than five seconds, so that's cool. Oh, he is? Yeah, he has a good, like, big role, and he's really good. He has, specifically, he has this kind of freak out scene, which we all know he does very well. <laughs> um, so... It's like he's in it for at least two minutes. Yeah, yeah. David Schwimmer was an apt pupil. Oh, I remember that movie from 98, yeah. Yeah, and he was the teacher that the fucking, that gave the assignment to the kid, and then he was like, he figures out that the kid unleashed the Hitler fucking soldier from next door. But yeah. Sorry. It's okay. (laughs) Call back to David Schwimmer. (laughs) Fucking... <laughs> What's are, up? Are, if you listen to the show, are know, we the only ones ever to compare Dylan McDermott <laughs> and David Schwimmer? That's what I want to know out there. If anybody who's listening, <laughs> anybody who's listening right now, get back at us with that. Yo, Let us know. Do you agree? Are we crazy? No, I don't think we are, <laughs> dude. Because both of those dudes combined look like a young Keanu Reeves. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I think I think they've been compared before. And if they're listening, let us know if we're wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so those who wish me dead, check it out on HBO Max, or it's in theaters right now. If you want to, you know, view it in a more traditional setting, uh, very good movie. Do you recommend it to be viewed in theaters because of those long shots? Because isn't it like she's like on a forest, like in a forest, right? Yeah, she's a tower watch. She's on a watch. Um, I don't. Park Ranger, right? Kind of. Yeah, where she's in a tower. Park Ranger. She's a park ranger. There's another word for it, but okay, she's like dude, on, on fire watch. Okay. So she's a fire ranger. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I learned. I learned. I fucking this week. I learned a new word in Spanish, and it's fucking park ranger guarda bosque wow so how fucking weird that it's, she's a fucking park ranger dude and that's the word that you learned. guarda bosque there you go it's meant to be man I'm fucking multilingual bro fucking uh Diego you listening <laughs> <laughs> what's the shit in hackers um a- acid burn or whatever the fuck oh is. crash override yeah crash and burn so you can see that in the big screen or on HBO Max if you okay. want to stay at home. Cool. Oh, and then obviously, want to give a shout out to uh, Charles Grodin once again uh, with Midnight Run, the Robert De Niro film. Oh. Um, it's on HBO Max. Check that out. I haven't fully seen that. I have to watch that all. Yeah. I know that's Jerry from Rick and Morty's favorite movie. Really? Yes. Oh. Midnight Run. <laughs> So anybody listening, there you go. Yeah, and that'll get us out of our wrecks and into uh, the main focus. Five, four, three, two, one. And now for the movie focus of the week. So we're talking about Mortal Kombat this week, the 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 newest version. Hmm. Uh, it's rated R. It's, came out earlier this year, 2021. It's an action fantasy film. It runs at one hour and 50 minutes. And it's got a 55 on Rotten. Ooh, five points above half. <laughs> Directed by Simon McKeod. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> Starring Hiroku uh, Sonata, Joe Taslim, Louis Tan, Jessica, Jessica McNamee, uh, Cece Stringer, your favorite, Ludi, uh, Ludai Lin, uh, McCade Brooks, Josh Lawson, Chin Han, uh, Max Wang, Daniel Nielsen, and Tadanobu Asano, who was rated. Uh, oh. Yeah, so, that was, that's cool. <laughs> like, fool has an epic name. Yeah. Um, in the film, we quickly learn of the bad blood between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, which happens in the feudal era. Then we are quickly pushed forward into a contemporary time where we meet Cole, a descendant of Scorpions, who is also a chosen warrior to defend Earthrealm in the tournament known only as Mortal Kombat. As the evil sorcerer 
of Outworld, Shang Tsung, defined, defies the rules and attempts to have all Earthrealm defenders killed prior to the tournament, it becomes a race against time for Cole to find his Kana, save his bloodline, and help the others save Earth as we know it. After the disastrous release that was Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which has a astounding 2% on Rotten right now, Wow. <laughs> Back in 97, the planned threequel was delayed indefinitely. Through the years, many scripts were planned and the eventual and they eventually uh, were thrown out until 2015. When Conjuring director James Wan was brought on uh, by New Line and Warner Bros as a producer, which led to the hiring of Sam uh, Simon McCoyd making MK his directorial debut. Mortal Kombat was first released internationally in early April and then for us on April 23rd of 2021. This was another unique uh, release as it came to HBO Max and theaters at the same time being the most successful stream exclusive for Max as of now. The film has grossed $76 million against a $55 million budget. So far the movie audiences, uh, the movie audience has been fairly cut straight uh, down the middle with some praising it and some downright despising it. Um, this newest update within the lore of Mortal Kombat starts off very strong, creating an incredible cinematic revenge setup between Scorpion and Bihan, the very first Sub-Zero. But as the movie continues, it kind of starts to take a step back, granting itself the liberty and creating a new character, Cole, just for the film. With so many interesting characters available, it was a very jarring decision to create a mediocre at best character who is obviously set up as the Van Damme underdog trope we've seen uh, many times before. The film also does make a smart decision in that it only introduces a few characters like Raiden, Sonya, Jax, Kano, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Melina, and Shang Tsung, with a few others uh, thrown in there. However, the movie's pacing is so fast, casual viewers will have little to no time figuring out why or, or who any of these characters really are. Most of the choreography is great and there's bucket loads of gore to be seen, which definitely brings the film ahead of its 90s counterparts. I'd say the most disappointing factor of the film is its un unspoken promise to fans as a new grounded and serious take uh, but in actuality the film is little more than a redo of the original Mortal Kombat film with its campy tone and at times overshadowing comedic energy. Overall the film was just okay when it could have broken new ground for the beloved franchise. As those who've seen the new movie are aware a huge teaser for Johnny Cage is presented at the tail end of the feature, so perhaps the next film could learn from this one's missteps. Uh, thank you, and I'd like to close with this. You will have uh, about two more days to watch MK on Max, um, if you have yet to catch it, and it is still currently playing in theaters. Cool. Nice, nice. Dang, man. So you're like, you're you're part of the 50-50? Uh, it's not that. There's just things that I uh, that I enjoyed and things that I felt like uh, they didn't have to do. And it was kind of weird that they did. But I'm really interested to hear uh, what James has to say and uh, why you thought we should pick this so early on. So go ahead, man. Take the floor. Oh, wait. Um, so I am probably at the opposite end of where you're at. I actually enjoyed the film. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's way better than the both one and two. Um, uh, I do question, like uh, you were saying, or what you, you were reading, the adding a a character for Lewis Tan. Um, uh, uh, Cole Young in the movie. Cole, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not too sure why they decided to go that route. Um, uh, and I think maybe just to have Louis Tan in the film. Um, he is a pretty big 
not not pretty big, but he's uh, he's doing pretty well on Netflix with the series that came out uh, last year, two years ago, uh, the tail end of 2019, Who Assassins, uh, which is actually pretty good. Um, and I do believe they're working on a sequel for that as well. Do but, um, I was going to say, James and Wes, do you guys think they specifically brought back a random character, like a B-side character, um, just so they can tie in the family rivalry of Scorpion and Sub Zero, so it ha- he has a purpose and almost like an awakening to to call back Scorpion, you know? Because is there? I would, I would say that. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, because there. there I was gonna say because is there any other character related to Scorpion that would like give him a reason to become Scorpion from coming back from hell, you know? So I felt like they had to have a reason for him to be his uh, final stage four evolved Scorpion. You but know? I feel like he doesn't. It's weird because I don't think he comes. He comes. Back, it's like Raiden brought Scorpion back because they say that at the end of the film where. Uh, oh, that's Louis, true. Yeah, Louis Tan yeah. is like, oh, I thought you couldn't get involved. So yeah. it's like it was like he made like that fight between Sub-Zero and Scorpion happen. So it just furthermore is like, why the fuck is Cole (laughs) in this movie? You know what I mean? I don't know. And it's not to say, it's not that I disliked his performance or anything like that. It's just a great fact. Yeah, he's a great martial artist. I'm just going to say this and I'll give it back to James. But what like, and they make Cole just get like beat up the whole time. You know what I mean? And he doesn't even have one fight where he doesn't need help. There's not yeah. one... F- every single fight, is he only wins. Because he's like... With, with Goro, his fucking girlfriend helps him. And acts And his him. daughter his daughter helps him uh-huh. in, in the cage fight. With Melina, Sonya has to step in. Because he yeah. would have fucking died. Uh, you know what I mean? And it's just like, okay, you discovered your Kana, so what the fuck? Like, why aren't you yeah. using it? <laughs> uh, Maybe he's like... You know, like a level one fighter because he's so new to the tournament. So he's That's, like, that would be my only reason. I was gonna he's say a rookie. Right now. He is just, he's, he's fighting against people who have been Ooh. training for the quote unquote tournament for you know years. I have. But a, he is he is supposed to be a you know a mixed martial artist and uh, well, uh, a mixed martial artist on the end of his career, pretty much. I have a question. So, in the Mortal Kombat games. Are you able to make your own character, like a playable character? Because uh, maybe they're like, "Oh, we're gonna take a regular Joe, and you know, have him start off from the bottom, which is Cole." Because if you think about it, the word Cole under pressure turns into a diamond. Maybe I'm just high right now. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm just saying. Maybe I like the optimism. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe they're like, "Yo, we're gonna take this person who nobody knows and make a character um, to to symbolize like, hey, you have to start somewhere." And they just made it for the movie. Who knows how many? I, I, I would say they had a badass uh, uh, story between Sub Zero and yeah and Scorpion in the beginning. <clears throat> And the only way that they thought they would be able to bring him back would be from a descendant. And that's where Cole Young comes in. I mean, it's in the movie, but I yeah. think that, that's their only reasoning for doing that. I can I, see I, that. I agree with like, you. Well, it doesn't make sense for him to come back and just fight Sub-Zero. Yeah. But, I mean, it does make sense. For, I mean, <laughs> it, in my head, it does make sense for them to do that. Um or for Sub Zero to come back just because he wants to come back, and to Scorpion to come back just because he wants to to fight Sub Zero. But this maybe makes it more uh, personal. You kind of you're rooting for Scorpion. Well, yeah, because... that's that's actually what I had read or and heard in a like a breakdown video. Is that what Sub Zero is doing? Is he's stopping the actual family bloodline um, by? trying to kill off Cole or stop him to, from the tournament and that's why he's fighting him so that's what brings Scorpion back is like hey even my future generations are still paying for what the fuck I did back in like the 1800s 
So you know, for what what I couldn't finish. Yeah, whatever he could finish. So he's like, "Hey, I have I have to come back um, because um, my family. You know, I'm still trying to protect yeah. my family, and so uh, it makes it makes sense why he was written in, but at the same.